What's up? What's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right. So we need to find the average rate of change, which is really the same as a slope. So which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so clearly I don't have the y values right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the x's here. So I got 6 minus 5 here. To find the y values, however, y2 would equal to, for me to plug in the x2 into the equation. So I get negative 3 times 6 squared minus 6. And what is that going to give me? That is the ultimate question. So let's see. Let's turn on the calculator. 6 squared is 36. So three to, negative 3 times 36 is going to give me negative 108. So I should get negative 114. So let me double check that. That's correct negative 114 and then to find y1 I plug in the x1 into the equation and I'm gonna get negative 80 so I got negative 114 minus a negative 80 We get a negative 34, which is choice D. Which is choice D. There we go. Hope that helps. Any questions? Let me know. Later. Bye.